Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Um, today I thought I would just do a short video uh, sharing with you some of the mock-up files that I that I used to create um, some of the thumbnails on my channel. So on the screen right now I have four thumbnails that use different mock-ups, or at least three of them. Um, this first one here, um, I've got the Instagram user interface here as one mock-up and then a phone as the other one. Um, so, And then right here for this other one, I've got the four different bags. And then the last one is this MacBook Pro mock-up. So I will show you where I got each of those. Um, I will include the links in the description to the website in general and then as well as a link to each of the actual mock-ups that I found. So for this first one, we have the Instagram user interface. And this is an older file that I've had for a little bit, but um, it is one that I actually found on Behance. So I don't think I went to Behance and found it there. I think I just did a Google search for, you know, Instagram, Instagram feed mock-up and then this is what came up. So as you can see, it is a 2017 one and I have since found a newer mock-up to use um, for some of my stuff um, that is about a 2019 version. But at the time when I made the thumbnail, this is what I had and um, it worked good enough for what I was trying to show. So what I didn't like about this is that the profile screen didn't include those um the stories highlights kind of above the the grid so that's what i looked for in a newer version was something that showed that grid on the profile screen for the iphone itself i went to one of my go-to resources which is graphicburger.com and i found an iphone 6 mock-up that had these three different angles. I didn't really need these two side ones. I was just looking for a front facing one uh, because I didn't want one that was, um, I wanted to be able to isolate it and take away the background so that I could just have it floating on top of another image. And so this one worked well for me for that, for that purpose. Um, for this next the next set that I had were all of these bags. So I have this top paper bag here with the label on it, the canvas one, uh, the drawstring bag that I used for my candle packaging, and then for this other pa paper bag, I just wanted to find a different version so that I wasn't repeating the same mock-up twice in the thumbnail. So for that top one, um, it is a mock-up that I also found on graphicburger.com. Um, so it, it's pretty, it's pretty basic. It worked well for me though. For the canvas tote bag, um, I'm sure it's not the first time you've come across this, but it's also one that I found on graphicburger.com. Um, actually I was trying to find one some kind of a, a mock-up generator online for this drawstring, I mean for the canvas tote bag, but everything that I found, and I did test one on a website, but the quality did, just didn't come out all that great, so I just ended up coming back to this, this, um, this mock-up file. So For the drawstring bag, um, it was one that I had a harder time searching for because everything that I had found was a lot bigger. But this is what I found on pixaden.com and it did work well. I mean, I do really like it. I wish I had more reasons to use this kind of a mock-up, but you can change the bag color. You can change the background color. Um, you can also change the string color on it and then, then you can add in your um, whatever image you're trying to show on the bag. So I did really like this one. So I'll probably start, I might start coming back to this Pixiden website a little bit more, but I think in the past mock-ups have been a little bit hard to find. Um, 
what I have next here. Oh, the last, um, the second version of the paper bag. That is one that I actually went to unblast.com looking for a mock-up. And then when I click on the download button, it always takes you to the original source. And the original source ended up being on designbolts.com. So um, this was kind of like a new mock-up resource for me. And like if you were to go exploring on this website, they actually have a lot of really cool um, free mock-ups that you can use. So, um, but this is where I found this version of the paper bag and you can change the color of the side panel and the handles just like they do in the picture. Um, for me, I just wanted a natural color, so I didn't want any colors on it, but, um, if you wanted to, you could change those colors. So I really like this, this mock-up. And then the last one that I have was this MacBook Pro. And I was kind of picky. Again, I wanted the same kind of thing where it was kind of like a floating MacBook on top of and whatever image that I wanted it on top of. I didn't want something that was like a lifestyle photo. Um, and the one that I had originally, I realized that it was actually a MacBook Air that was, and, and I don't know, I just, I just wanted something that seemed a little bit more realistic to what I was using. And what I use is a MacBook Pro, not a MacBook Air. So where I got that one from, this was another Behance project that I came across, but I also found it on the unblast.com website. And then it just, it just brought me to this, uh, I think it was something that I found on the, I think it was a different website that I found it on actually. Um, but then it brought me to this Behance website project. I'm kind of thinking that I found it on maybe MacBook or mockup, oops, mockup, yeah, mockupworld.co. So I searched for it um, on this website first. And then it ended up bringing me to that Behance project on that other website. And like I said, um, there's a whole bunch of other different mock-ups on each of these websites. And I guess depending on what you need it for, um, will depend what which one works better for you. And like I said, graphicburger.com is probably one of my go-to places to go to, but I also have been visiting the unblast.com website a little bit more because they also have uh, a lot of resources. They'll actually, for some of them, they'll actually link back to graphicburger.com. So anyways, I think that is it for all of the mock-ups that I've done um, in terms of what's been included in my video thumbnails and videos. Um, just another quick little note about some of the stock footage and stock photos that I use. I know a lot of people go to unsplash.com to find some of their stock photos, but for me, I've been going to pexels.com a little bit more to find things. Um, they have um, stock video, like, um, I'm just going to type in MacBook again, um, just, just to kind of show you what there is, but uh, you can search for photos on this website, but you can also look for videos. And so when I'm showing some of the, like the Holly and Pine intro and then the video animations, uh, I came to this website to look for some stock footage to use. And you can even search by orientation. So you can come here and choose whether or not it's just horizontal, which is what I wanted at the time um, for this. Um, but you can also search for vertical ones if you're trying to do some kind of a mock-up for an Instagram stories or Instagram or TikTok, Instagram reels kind of a thing, um, or even just the square ones, but I'm not too sure how many square ones there are. But um, so that's kind of neat. So that's why I kind of like this website a little bit more. Um, anyways, those are all my resources. They're all free. 
So if you do have any other kind of places that you go to, uh, please feel free to comment below and let me know because I'm always looking for new places to find uh, free mock-ups for my things. So uh, anyways, that's it for today's video and I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next week.